Good morning. Finally out on the course. This is the first time I've been out since the 7th of February. The weather's been that miserable. It's Saturday the 26th. Two thank yous. First one is that I've just gone through 100,000 views. So thank you very much for that. And by the time this video comes out, I may have even gone through a thousand subscribers. Which means adverts. Which means a little bit of income for me. A few pennies. So uh, thank you very much for that. Now in my West, uh, now in my what's in the bag video, I mentioned I'd changed my seven wood for a hybrid, and there was still a question mark over which one I thought was best. Well, for about the last eighteen months, I've been scouring the internet trying to find a copy, a model of that old seven wood that I had for fifteen years or so. And I got one. These things are as rare as rocking horse shit. They're so difficult to find. Because I suppose they didn't sell many. Who on earth wants a seven wood? Well, I did. So today, we're gonna, we're gonna answer that question. Which one of these two is best for me? So in the blue corner, and it is blue, is a Mizuno JPX 850 19 degree hybrid. And in the other blue corner, there's a Mizuno Blue Rage 21 degree 7 wood. Let's go out and see um, see if my nostal nost I'm having trouble this morning, aren't I? See if my nostalgic feelings for this 7 wood are right or whether this is right. One of these will get in the bag. Which one? Well, I haven't been on the course for three weeks, so this isn't exactly the best time to be making a judgment on golf clubs. Especially when I am cold and stiff. But, you know, we'll do our best. First two swings of the day. Definitely coming over the top because both of those were little pulls. Well, that was a little fat. And this next one's on a little bit of a downslope. So this one's a little thin. So no joy out of this. Yeah, always going to be awkward off that downslope. Such is life. Right, so first hole, inconclusive. Seven wood went a fraction further off the tee. It's, it's two degrees, I'm cold, my hands are absolutely freezing already. This hole's right into the wind, so we'll see which one goes through the wind. Hopefully later on in the round I will have warmed up sufficiently to actually hit the ball properly. See, I can't even make two decent swings on the trot. But uh, we'll go up and have a look. Well, at least the hybrid was a decent shot, so I'm playing that. The seven wood was a lot shorter because, well, I just didn't hit it. And as it's been three weeks since I've been on the course, surprising how quickly the short game goes down the toilet. And talking of toilets, I've just had to unblock mine. My son came from home from work and dropped something about the size of a submarine. So the last 45 minutes have been spent up to my elbows in something nasty.
Well, I didn't think I'd get up from here on this upslope. 160 yards doesn't seem that far, but it's the added loft you get from the upslope, plus it's uphill and it's into the breeze. They've finished side by side, three or four yards apart. Yeah, there is nothing more than a cigarette paper between these two clubs. I need to start hitting the ball better and then I'll really find out which one I want in the bag. So here's the seven wood just under the green and then right next to it it's the hybrid. So nothing in it really. Right, I'm on 13. I give myself 183 up to this green. I hope I never get this in real life because that would be a, a really poor tee shot. Anyway, I'm right on the outer limits of what these two clubs will do up this hill and against this little bit of breeze. So uh, let's see if one of them makes it. Hard to tell from here, but I was perfectly left with the wind bringing it back towards the green. Let's try the seven. I think that's front bunker. Well, the seven wood I pushed to the right a little bit so it didn't make the carry over the bunker. The hybrid carried about the, exactly the same distance, but because it was on line, it got up the green. So they're just about equal, just slightly different directions. Well, you can tell I haven't been on the course for three weeks. Yeah, I've been to the range three or four times, but I just haven't been out here because of the weather. Still, uh, I'm not exactly concentrating on the button today. Is that a good enough excuse? Yeah, probably not. Well, this camera view doesn't exactly show you the 14th green, but you can see I've picked a shot above my feet just to make it awkward. <laughs> The hybrid was a beauty, and the seven wood was fat. Yeah, I'm not having a happy time right here at the moment. Yeah, I'll get that divot in a second. Yeah. Don't know really what to say. You know, I have many happy memories and great shots with this club. Today, not so much. Well, obviously the seven wood didn't make the green. Here's the hybrid, here's the birdie, or, well, it wasn't a birdie putt, was it? Because I didn't have a tee shot. Now we're on the side of 16, ball below the feet. It's downwind. And the hybrid is as good as I could possibly ask for. And the seven wood is a little bit to the right. So it actually carried more or less the same distance, but it thumped into the bank a couple of feet short of the top. Well, the hybrid made it. It's on the green. The seven wood didn't. Shame, really. Well, I don't think this test is going as planned, but um, the hybrid is most definitely on top. Well, the conclusion. The conclusion is, I haven't been on the golf course in three weeks and driving range work every now and then isn't the same as playing golf. So this hasn't been very good. What I will say, when hybrids first came out, there were quite small headed golf clubs. They didn't really give any advantage over an iron. But, you know, I tried them late nineties or early 2000, whenever it was they came out. And no, it, it, they didn't feel any better 
than hitting a three iron. The modern hybrid, they've used the information they've gathered from drivers to make hybrids better. So this face is considerably longer than the original hybrids. It's deeper than the original hybrids. They've used their what they've learnt in drivers, as I say, to bring the weight low and back. So these become easier to hit. That seven wood is 20 years old, 2002-ish, and it just doesn't seem to have that kind of forgiveness. But it does prove I was an awful lot better golfer because uh, I used to hit that like a beast, but today not. It just doesn't have the forgiveness. So uh, this is staying in the bag. That's going back on eBay. See if I can get my 12 pounds back. And if I do change this in the future, then it may be that it'll be for a modern seven wood. A seven wood that's got a long face. It's got its weight low and back. It's forgiving. And it's as good as this. But that is not as good as this. So this is coming to Thailand. That's going on eBay. Ta-ra! Yeah.